What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Seductive Souls coming back to bring you a video. If you notice, I got on my Titan tag, my Titan jersey. First off, I want to say, tighten up. My Tennessee Titans won. We beat the Broncos with seven and six. We're doing good. Hope we get it. So, this point of this video today is about the Galaxy Note Seven recall. Now, I am very pissed off because. I am a note person. I had the note since it came out. And now this stuff is going on. Well, when they first did the recall, I didn't want to take my phone back, but I ended up doing it and getting one of the ones that was okay. And then they came back and did another recall, and I refused to turn my phone in and pay all this money for a phone that I don't even want. The S7 or the S7 Edge that's really small. So, I decided to keep my phone um my phone was fine and never overheated or anything it was still charged to 100% so one day I got the update and I accidentally it accidentally updated and then the update only let my phone charge to 60% so I had to deal with that constantly having to keep a charger on me uh, my phone not lasting all day. I'm always on the internet and so on. It'll last about half a day Maybe sometimes before that so That was pissing me off and I still wanted to keep it well Then I had a little accident I don't know if you can see that I See that crack that crack right there there we go yeah I always take care of my phones I'm very good with that but I had that accident and dropped the phone so I was pissed off ready to return it or figure out something then a few days later I get this message I'll show you this message from T-Mobile let me find it in my phone and here we go I don't know if you can see that it says starting 1227 you won't be able to charge your note 7 you won't be able to charge your note 7 due to a safety update from Samsung return device to T-Mobile store for details tmobile.com for more details about it now that really pissed me off so pretty much telling me that I can't keep my phone and that made it even worse trying to figure out what I'm going to do so what I did and it took me a couple times to get this I looked it up online trying to figure out something what I can do to do whatever and I came across this so uh, I did I had to call Samsung like three or four times uh, if you're like me I bought my phone off of Craigslist the first one I bought from T-Mobile it was nine hundred thirty dollars they did that recall so I took it back and bought it off Craigslist for five fifty now I contacted Samsung it took a few times to get them to do it contacted Samsung and now they're gonna take uh, um how do you say they're gonna let me return my galaxy note 7 so and even better they're gonna pay me full retail price for the phone the retail price for the phone was 849 dollars and 99 cents plus tax the phone came out to 930 dollars so right there i'm getting at 930 dollars and then they're giving a $25 credit just for the hell of it for them fucking up. So get that. And then the guy that I talked to told me the accessories, they'll refund you for the accessories as well. So now I have to get all my accessories together. He said you need a per, uh, receipt. And that's for the bigger things and then like the smaller things you don't have a receipt they will give you the retail value the MSRP of what they have it listed for 
Now, that was even better for me because I have a I have a few things that I've purchased online. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this and show you this email so you can see what I'm talking about. Right here, right there, Samsung support. That's an email. I asked the guy to send me the email so I, I have everything done. That was December 10th, you see the date. Ticket confirmation. He sent me my ticket confirmation. So here we go. Congratulations on setting up your No. Seven refund. Now I will explain the recess process to you, Mr. Gibson. So, so we will send you a box for the device. It's going to take five to seven business days, Monday through Friday, to send your to send you the fireproof stericycle box. Make sure you take. The tracking number down to ensure that we do receive it at our facility in Copal, Texas. It looks like you have a T-Mobile device. T you have T-Mobile for the device, which is priced at 849. But of course, we we will throw in a $25 loyal credit, making it to be 874. Now, of course. If you do have no have any Note 7 accessories, we will refund you for those. If you don't have a proof of purchase, we will give you the MSRP amount listed for that specific accessory. Just in case you have to call us back, you can contact our Note 7 Exchange and Refund team directly at 188-1855-291-6255. Your refund confirmation number is da -da -da -da. Thank you, your friendly neighborhood note 17. So yeah, that's the email confirmation saying that some of the money that will be refunded to me. Now, let me go ahead and explain what the guy told me. Proofs of purchases, receipts is needed, but not need necessarily. If you don't have it, then they'll give you the MSRP of what they have listed. Now, he, he went over prices with me. These are USB cables that I bought online. This is a three pack set. I have about five different cables. And for the cables, the MSRP that they have listed is $25 a cable. And it doesn't matter if it's not Samsung brand or anything like that. So that's $25 a cable. That comes out to what? Four is a hundred. Five, one fifty. That's an extra one fifty right there. This is a Ghost Tech Atomic Three waterproof case. Uh, I paid sixty dollars for this. I have the receipt for it, so they're gonna refund me the sixty for this case. It's a good case. And it's not, the only thing I didn't like is that it didn't come with the clip, but it's not as bulky as the outer box and the other protective cases. This, one of the little same cases, protective cases, bought online. I, this is unused. Again, I didn't use it because it didn't come with a clip. This case, a couple bucks online. The MSRP that they have any phone case listed for is $20, so I'll be receiving $20 for that case. Um, I have another uh, clear transparent rubber case, $20 for that case as well. Um, this is the, the curved tempered glass unused. They have uh, the tempered glass and the screen protectors either the front screen protector or the back listed at ten dollars msrp so i'll get ten dollars for this even though i paid maybe a dollar or something for it oh uh, this the, the the box for the ghost tech that it comes in oh this is the new one i, ha I actually have two of these this one's unopened sixty dollars for this case as well um 
also on my Note 7. You can't tell. You can see in certain spots. Actually, you can look at that crack and see it. And see it on there. I have the um you can see it on top too. The the full body screen protector that protects all the way around the phone. So keeps no scratches, no dings and all that kind of stuff. I have that. I have the receipt for that. I paid fifteen dollars for that. So all in all with the how they're doing the program you can get anywhere from $930 up to $1,500 depending on what you bought for your phone and all that kind of stuff. I was about to say something else, but yeah. So, I'm real disappointed that this happened with the Samsung Note 7. Um, I think after this, I'm not going to use Samsung no more. I'm probably going to switch and get that V20. I heard a lot about that. It's a good phone that it's exactly like the Note, but it just don't have a stylus pen. So, yeah, but I'm going to try that phone out. Let you guys know how that phone is. Again, if you have a Note 7, keep calling Samsung. And one call, you'll get somebody that'll help you. It might take a few calls, but someone will help, you know. Again... No seven extinct RIP to all the dead homies. I mean the dead phonies. You know. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Let me know how your process went or if you're having trouble talking to them. Because I know a lot of people don't want to get rid of their phone just like me. I wanted to keep it. I I still would keep it, but won't be able to to use it because it's not going to charge and actually you know what I forgot to show it's not on the phone but the it'll do it'll pop up in your notifications the text message they sent me said on the 27th that you won't be able to use it when when I talked to Samsung when I called them and they told me it's not the 27th, the date is the 19th. So December 19th, 2016, you won't be able to charge your Note 7 again. Now the notification went to my phone and it's Samsung urgent update, as they say, whatever. That also said December 19th, you won't be able to use your phone. But it says update, so I don't know if you have to update your phone. Once you update your phone, then it knocks it out. You can't charge it no more. Or is it automatically on that date, no more charging the phone. So I don't know how it worked, but oh well. Again, of course, that no seven band on flights. You can't charge your phone without seeing this. You can't unlock your screen without seeing this. It's letting you know and yeah but that's it i'm out i'm done talking had enough no more note 7 no more samsung no more galaxy for me i'm done with it note 7 this was my last try i love the phone it's great everything is good about it just had problems with the battery you shouldn't have switched your battery you should have stayed with the people you were with and let everything go but again i'm out thanks for your time like, comment, subscribe, and tighten up. Let's get it. Sad day, but you had to go. Samsung Galaxy Note 7 no longer exists after December 29th, 2016. Very good phone. Bad qualities bad batteries that like to blow up and hurt people but oh well no more no sevens bye so you can just take this no seven and poof peace